In this video, I frame a soffit around my furnace ductwork. This soffit will also encase a whole house vacuum line and the beam that supports the floor above. As is typical in our house, nothing is square, level, or plumb. As a result, the floor above slopes down from the outer wall to the beam, and the beam itself is not level. Furthermore, the beam and the ducts that are attached to the beam are not parallel to either the outside wall, which is opposite the beam, or the wall that I framed, which is adjacent to the beam. Although I did frame these two walls parallel to each other and perpendicular to the adjoining walls. You may wonder, why didn't I level the floor above when I had the chance? The answer is that I would need to raise the entire beam end to end, which would have caused a chain of work that we elected not to undertake. On one end of this room, I have an offset in the ductwork due to a cold air return. So the goal is to frame the soffit square, level, and plumb, even though the structure I'm attaching it to is not. As I already have limited ceiling height in my basement, I want to frame the soffit as close to the ducts as I can which means that I will frame the horizontal sections of my soffit attached to the beam. I decided the easiest way for me to frame the horizontal ladder sections is to transfer the location of the edge of the beam and the placement of the vertical ladder to the floor to make a template. I purchased an inexpensive three beam laser. I set up my laser on the floor and align one laser beam parallel to one of the walls that is perpendicular to both the outer wall, which is on the opposite side of the room from the location of the soffit, and the center wall, which is adjacent to the soffit. I adjusted the location of the laser to place one of the laser beams outside of my vacuum line with enough clearance for my vertical ladder sections. I snapped a chalk line along the laser beam on the floor and marked the floor joists with a pencil. I repeated this process for the offset for the cold air return. Next, I moved the laser in line with the beam, the one supporting the floor, not to be confused with one of the laser beams, and snapped another chalk line. Notice the chalk line is barely visible in the image due to the cement covering the control joint. With my template drawn on the floor, I am now able to lay out the sections for my horizontal ladder and assemble. The long vertical sections simply follow the outside of the horizontal sections, but I needed to account for the short offset section where I drew in both sides in pencil. Now that I have my horizontal ladder sections assembled, it's time to lay out the vertical ladder sections. I set my laser up to clear the ductwork but also to leave enough of the support beam exposed to attach to horizontal ladder sections. I will install the horizontal ladder sections low enough that the drywall, once installed, will clear the support beam. My initial placement was pretty close, but the laser did not quite clear the X-cross creases in the ducts, so I had to lower my laser beam around a quarter inch or so. I laid out the top and bottom plates for the vertical ladder sections on the floor. As with the horizontal ladder, I assembled the vertical ladder in sections, partly to make use of 8 foot 2 by 4s, but also to make it easier for me to install the sections by myself. I laid out the locations of the studs, making sure that they do not line up with the floor joists above, so I can attach the top plates to the joists using screws. Think of the vertical ladder as a really short wall using plates and very short studs. I need to determine the length of each individual stud because the floor above is not level, but I'm building my soffit level. I measured the distance from each floor joist to the laser beam and recorded the dimension directly on the plates. I cut the studs to length and assemble the vertical ladder sections. I lay all the horizontal and vertical ladder sections on the floor 
to verify that they match my template. I'll install splice plates between two of the vertical ladder sections once I get them hung. To hang the vertical ladder sections, I drive a pair of 16 penny nails on either side of the location of the top plate near both ends of each section. I attach a length of tie wire to the nails on the same side of a vertical ladder section. I make a loop at the loose end of the tie wire to reduce the chance of poking myself. I use a six foot ladder to support one end of the vertical ladder section, then use a short step ladder to raise and hang the other end of the section by looping the tie wire to the opposite nail. Then it's a simple matter of raising the opposite end to the floor joists and securing with the tie wire. I go back to the first end and tighten as needed. I repeat the process for the remaining vertical ladder sections. I test fit the short offset vertical ladder that jogs the soffit around my cold air return. I installed the splice plate on the bottom plates of the two sections to line them up. I secure each end of each section with construction screws. I'll install the remaining screws once the horizontal ladder sections are hung. To hang the horizontal ladder sections, I use a combination of tie wire and bar clamps. I iterate back and forth until I'm satisfied that everything is lined up and level. Once I'm happy, I secure the horizontal ladder to the vertical ladder and a support beam with construction screws. I repeat the process for the remaining horizontal ladder sections. The last step is to install the rest of the screws. Since I have a wall on the other side of my support beam, I attach a backer to support the drywall. The gap between the wall and the horizontal ladder is small enough to support the drywall without any additional framing. I hope you enjoyed my version of framing a soffit while working alone. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like below and comment either way. If you would like to follow along with me as I complete this project, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, you get to see me in the next video.